Cystic fibrosis related diabetes is considered the major uh, comorbidity of the disease. This is probably due to the fact that uh, diabetes tend to develop after the first decade of life and is most common in adults. So with improved survival, an increasing number of patients are becoming diabe diabetic. The pathogenesis is uh, due to um, pancreatic damage. The exocrine uh, pancreatic damage is progressive and lead to fibrosis. So with the increased fibrosis, also beta cells can be damaged um, and uh, fibrosis determines strangulation of beta cells. However, also ins insulin resistance is, uh, may play a role in the pathogenesis, especially during pulmonary exacerbation uh, when uh, chronic infection and inflammation um, are present and may uh, and uh, the uh, production of the inflammatory uh, cytokines may induce insulin resistance. The symptoms at the onset of diabetes are often aspecific and so the screening of diabetes is very important and is accomplished by oral glucose tolerant test which is performed uh, at least once a year after the age of 10. So in this way, we can uh, diagnose in time um, diabetes. One of the main uh, interests for this complication is that it has a negative impact on pulmonary function and nutritional status. Um, so it is in, extremely important to diagnose early and to treat it. Uh, treatment consists in insulin administration uh, with meals and long-acting insulin at night or in the morning. And this treatment with long-acting insulin has been proposed also for patients with uh, reduced glucose uh, tolerance just to avoid the deterioration of CF disease. In contrast, there is no room for dietary restriction in CF-related diabetes, with the only exception of limitation of simple sugars while um, the caloric intake and the lipid intake should be um, kept uh, as in the general population.